All right, today we got a 400, good old 400 three-speed transmission out of a uh, Chevy van. Honestly, not sure of the year, but um, the guy had brought it in and he said it's uh, leaking very bad. So I said, all right, we'll check it out. And he said, I just want to, let's just do a transmission in it. So we got it out. We're going to open it up uh, and see what we find. And it uh, looks like the the big leak that they were talking about, because the technician came to me yesterday, this is the, where the filler tube goes, and it's very clean around in the area, and this should, uh, this should actually take a boot, there's either a choice of taking a boot or taking an O-ring, and if there's a groove in the filler tube, where the O-ring fit, you put the O-ring, and if not, then you just put a, a, the boot in. Well, they had an O-ring, had no groove, but they did have an O-ring in it. So they shoved it in there, and it was, leaking out of there pretty good. So it was a, actually a simple fix, but the guy elected to do an overhaul. So we'll open it up, see what we find. Um, as far as what's on the outside here, we got a, our uh, vacuum modulator here, which is gonna be changed. And behind this cover is your governor. And this little connector here is for the kick down switch inside the unit. All right, so let's open this up. And I'll get a little closer and let's see what we find with this uh, 400 trans. All right, so I just want to start by taking the extension housing off. These come in different uh, lengths, these extension housings. See if we can knock that one loose. You have a gasket on the back side here. It's on there pretty good, but there is a gasket there. Okay, now what we're going to do is take our governor cover off. You know, in order to get in order to get this out, you may have to. No, you know what? Sometimes you got to take the gear off, but I don't think we're going to have to. Let's see what happens as we get close to that part. Okay, so next is the governor cover, four bolts. Okay, here's that, the gear looks good. And of course you wanna make sure the valve is free, which it is. There's a valve inside here, and you can, you can see that moving in there. That looks pretty good. All right, now we'll take the modulator off. Now I'm going to get another one of these for the overhaul, and there is a valve in there. See if we can get that valve out. Should slide right out. All right. Let me get a magnet. All right. It's not coming right out. I can't get it like this. And once the valve body comes off, we'll get it from the inside. Okay, here it is. Okay, here is the modulator valve. I'm gonna make sure that comes out, you don't lose it if you wash it up in the tank or something. All right. 
What I'm gonna do now is zip out the pump bolts and then we'll flip it up and take the pan and valve body off. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pull the pump out. The good old pump puller here. Okay, pump, which we'll open later. Forward drum. Okay, good, no ring grooves in there. The direct drum. All right, even this looks good. Clutches are definitely fried here. All right, we got a coast band, and we're gonna get the intermediate clutches out as steels, and then we'll swing it over and drop the pan. Pretty, uh, you know, nice trains to work on. Pretty simple, three speed. Here are the intermediates. Teeth are shot, clutches are burned up, so it yeah, definitely needed it. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it, get the valve body off. A lot of crap in it. Pretty bad. All right, next filter. As you can see the filter is a little loose in here. That's pretty common. You know, that's what how, how it is. I should say. Uh, so let's hold that. So the bolt goes through, and then you have your spacer on the deep pans, you know, so the bolt will bottom out. Okay, and this is the, I think it's even the, possibly the screen type filter, it looks actually clogged, but we drove it up on the lift. All right, here is for the filter, the tube over in here into the case. All right, next thing we're going to take off is the little electrical switch here, kick down switch. Had a couple of these at one point. I was uh, shifting, shifting very late. And ended up being that uh, uh, for some reason the uh, either the switch was no good or was getting fed, you know, like 12 volts and was always in kickdown and shifting very very late all the time. And when you unplug it, you know, from the connector on the outside, it would work normal. 
Okay, so to continue, we're gonna do the valve body. We got a couple of different bolts. We got uh, some 716 and half inch. It's not supposed to do that. Here's the other piece, the center that broke out, and the spring. Normally, you kind of just leave that alone in there. All right, so that's busted. Okay, separator plate. This valve body the gasket is uh, it's coming off. Here's the feed tubes. Now you gotta remember to put those back in before you set the valve body on because you can't do it. You can't get those tubes in once the valve body's on. Okay, now here's another good little tip. On these 400s, there is a screen in the tube, you know, in the cavity where the tube goes. And if this screen gets clogged, when it gets hot, you're gonna lose third gear. So these, I don't even put back. I chuck those. All right, and here's a little piston, servo piston for the band. That's like a, like a manual second band. All right, now we're gonna take the cover off for the reverse piston. Someone's supposed to be dropping the car this morning. I'm just kind of waiting for him. Okay, reverse piston. Also uh, built in, kind of like an accumulator. All right, now the next thing we're going to take out is the center support bolt, which is a 3 8 12 point. And you got to kind of use like a chrome, uh, thin enough to get in there. So this is the socket here. And that's the center support bolt. Okay. All right, and got the magnet again. We're gonna take all the check balls out. All the check balls on the 400 are in the case. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let me just get rid of some of this oil. Pretty much what we have left is to take the gear train out and we'll open up the pump and look at the clutches. And that's really about it for the 400. So just give me a second, let me clean up a little bit. All right, so to continue, we're gonna pull the, we got the center support bolt out. Now we're gonna pull the snap ring out. here, flat on one side, tapered on one side, and the taper is going to face up. Okay, now this actually should come out here. Okay, here is the center support, houses the intermediate piston. All right, now let's we'll see if we can get the whole gear train out. Okay. 
go through that and reverse band. And it doesn't really look that great either. Okay, and all the way down on the bottom, you have a flat washer that sits in, you know, three tabs in the case so it cannot spin. All right, and also one other thing, as soon as you pull this center support out, there's kind of like a thin snap ring, I guess used as a spacer, that's in the case, and that's right here. So you'll see that as soon as this comes out. The whole gear train will come out even if you don't take the snap ring out, but I just like to take it out, just to take it out and I'll put it back in. All right, so this case actually is stripped. So I'm doing a 400 on this bench here. I'm tearing it down and I'm working on a, a 4L80E, which is the like the four speed version of a 400 has a lot of uh, similarities. And that one's out of an 09 uh, Chevy van. Okay, uh, so let me just uh, get straightened up here and I'll pull the drums, we'll, we'll pull the drums apart, the pump apart, uh, and we'll uh, actually finish up, the, finish up the video. It's a quickie though, you know, it's 400s. You know, just a regular three speed and it's nice to work on. All right, so look, give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, so we'll start with the forward drum. And this, of course, is the hub for the, uh, the hub for the direct clutch. Right, let's open up, see what we got. All right, these uh, clutches actually are definitely shot possibly get away with using the steels. Okay, and here is the uh, forward hub. You have a washer here. Uh, this is a plastic washer, and I upgrade this to a metal one, similar to this. Okay, and this washer, this metal one goes here, and the plastic one goes here, so this gets updated, so I get rid of this, and this I reuse. and you have a wave on the bottom and your clutches but yeah now clutches these are shot I'm surprised this thing even drove wow okay so these are clutches and steels all right let's take a look at the direct which I could tell you right away are no good so there is the end of the snack ring Is it this thing got so heated. These are definitely shot. Wave steel cracked. That's going to be changed. Okay, on this side, we have a spray egg. I'm going to take that out because that's, that's going to be changed as well. I like to put a new one in when I do these overhauls. So we got our snap ring pliers. Let's see if we can get this thing out. Here's the cover. And you want to take note of how the spray turns 
and, and a free wheel's one way, locks the other way. Okay, so we'll take that off. Keep everything together. And here is your intermediate spray. All right, I just gotta put you guys on hold for one second because my customer is here dropping his car off. And I will be right back. All right, to continue, all right, so we'll move this aside here. We'll take this drum apart, you know, springs, <clears throat> uh, new uh, whip seals on the piston, as we will with the forward drum. Here is your center support. All right, so we might as well just take this apart. This has to take the snap ring out. This one, you're only going to have about three springs. So that's for the center support. You're only going to have three springs on this one. And your piston. Okay, and you got a lip seal here, of course, and a lip seal here. Uh, you got four sealing rings here. Um, you would just want to make sure that these rings spin free because these lands sometimes tend to collapse. Also, you have a bushing in here that I like to change. I'll leave this aside for now. Let's continue with the gear train and I'll, because uh, I want to check the bushing. All right, so here is the front planet. All right, we've got some bearings here and washers as we do throughout this unit. Here's the other one here. And there is a washer, a plastic washer, inside here. All right, so let's move this aside. And here is your low sprig. Okay. It's also a pushing here. You want to make sure it's good. Usually on like the four kids and four ladies, um, these bushings do tend to wear. And I just found this plastic piece here, this piece of, of plastic, and there's a, a, a plastic piece that fits around, fits around the outside of this, and it's called the silencer, and this is what's left of it, so that's, I gotta see if I can find one, so this is, uh, that's what this piece is. I was wondering where it was, because I saw it wasn't on there, but obviously the thing is all busted up, and you want to, uh, just make sure these gears are good, you know, make sure they don't rock back and forth like the pinions are worn. Okay, here is... You know, it's a little, a little busted up in here, it looks like. These gears look like they got a little hot. Uh, Alright, here's the hollow shaft and the sun gear. Alright, this has uh, loopholes here and you know, kind of like master splines, if you will, here and here. You can line the loopholes up with that. And so what I do, slide the shaft through, see if you have movement up and down. This actually doesn't feel too bad, but as a standard overhaul procedure, uh, the bushings do get changed. But this isn't, this isn't too bad here. And when you change the center support bushing, you gotta just kind of watch uh, how you knock this in you can't just go in any way it has to go in a certain way <clears throat> there is a there is a hole right here if you can see my scribe and that hole the bushing has a, an opening so you got to make sure that hole stays open you got to look at it but it can't go in anyway. It's gotta you gotta watch how the thing gets knocked in. Alright, so now what we're gonna do oh boy, this one's not good. There's supposed to be a washer here that is not here, so that's all busted up. Well it's all ground down. 
take this apart. I'm going to just put this in here. There is another four tail washer on the back. And that rides, and this is the one in the case, and it rides like that. Okay, snap ring. Let me get this here. Nice Lift off the uh, output shaft. Got a bushing in here. And then we have a bearing set. Okay. Three pieces. I'm going to go to my light. And then we'll lift up the shaft. Okay. Bearing set. All, right, all three pieces again. Like that. Let me just turn my lights back on. Okay. And then sure these are good. I gotta see if I can clean this thing up here. And if the gears aren't rocking, but all inside here is all, uh, you know, with all the plastic and stuff, and this actually is ground down. Um, whatever washer was there was not there anymore that's supposed to be on this planet. And this is the rear planet, park gear. All right, just to give you a little insight on this here, this is the reverse servo. Here is the gasket for that. All right, you got your spring and an accumulator and the, the servo itself that works the band. All right, and all that goes together. These are probably uh, solid Teflon rings, and they've upgraded. That'll probably come in the kit, but on the later ones, there are now like uh, D rings. All right, and we got the pump left. Okay, also with this hollow shaft here, this intermediate shaft, I guess they would call it. Check the bushings here. See this? is no good. You can see this moving. So both both of those bushings again are going to be changed. Yeah, these things, uh, for some reason, a lot of these 400s and the 4 Lady E's, they tend to eat the bushing, so they always all get changed. I just finished up doing all the bushings on the 09 4L80. Alright, so we have our washer. Alright, let's take the two rings off. In the kit, these may be upgraded to steel rings. And if they are upgraded to steel rings, you know, again, you put the rings in here and make sure they spin freely, don't get caught. Right, so we'll open up the pump. The 
This is your pressure regulator valve. Okay, the stator looks pretty good, nice and smooth. Pump gears. This pump is no good. Boy, I just from thought having this thing a little leak wasn't gonna to be too bad. Everything is shot on this. I don't know if you can see that pump gear, but that thing is no good. And this pump, you know, has a, this pump has a major lip on it. This pump has a major lip on it, so this pump is no good. So I gotta see what I got laying around here. Wow, yeah, this is bad. All right, well, I think that is about it for this 400 trans. But it's a good thing the guy decided to go for an overhaul instead of just fixing the leak because there's not much that's good on this. But we'll do it all the whole, we'll get a uh, back like new, get it back in the car, and send him on his way. He came recommended uh, through a wholesale account. Alrighty guys, so I guess that is about it for this uh, THM or Turbo Hydromatic 400 transmission. I thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.